Nat, I'll start with you. Um, a new position, a, for, a forward this year. Can you tell us how's that going over the pre-season? Are you ready to go? It's good. For 14 years, I've been grinding in the midfield. No one really told me, but all the glory was up forward kicking goals. So uh, I'm loving it. The challenge of sort of reinventing myself, never pass one of those up if they come along and working with these boys, starting to build that connection and chemistry. It's, it's exciting. There's a lot of talk about the forward line. It, it's got some size down there now, right? Tabs, Amos, Tracy, yourself, one of the Ruckman will be down there. What is it going to look like? Is it going to be different to last year? I think it will, and we are trying to work on that flexibility to be able to play different roles. Um, trying to get Jai out of the goal square from time to time has been pretty difficult, but <laughs> we are going to have to work out ways to juggle our height, which is a real luxury. Now, Freddie, everyone's excited for another big year from you. A fantastic breakout season last year. How are you tracking this preseason? Yeah, not too bad. Um, unfortunately, um, strained my quad on last Tuesday, but... You're um, running too fast, man. You've got to slow down. <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, been running since uh, then, but, uh, yeah, tracking well before that. And, yeah, can't wait to the season starts, I guess, and get right. Now, Sonny, you're into your 15th pre-season. Dave Mundy's gone, so you're now the old big dog, right? Yes, thanks, Rhino. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we, we hear lots of times... Fifey just mentioned about reinventing yourself... Veterans tend to bring new things in to sort of, you know, motivate their pre-seasons, invigorate them. Have you done anything differently over this break? Um, not really. I, you know, you know, I work pretty closely with, the, um, with Phil, our strength and conditioning guy, um, to get myself right for um, doing the right things over the, over the off-season to, to obviously keep me in good stead for this season coming. So um, working with those guys is something that, you know, is new to me and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely been beneficial for me. Anyone who's been to a training session at Coburn knows you're the loudest on the track, you can hear you from a mile away. But a, a little bird tells me that someone, some people are trying to challenge you for that and get even louder. Is, is that the case? Yeah, well, they're trying, but um, I've still got plenty left in the tank. So <laughs> um, if they want to keep trying, they're going to have no voice. You can borrow that microphone and you take it to training. Um, now, Fifey, another big name in the Freo lineup is your number one ticket holder. Yes, Kev Parker and Tame Impala, who have been our ticket holder, number one ticket holder for the last couple of years. Um, you would know their song that they play at three-quarter time at the ground. That really gets everyone up and about. Um, and the oh, that's great work. Um, we're starting to build this great relationship with a number of the players in the band, Dom and Jay um, and Kevin and the rest of the guys. So it's, yeah, it's kind of a cool feel. Frio people uh, with a Frio club. They're global rock stars and we're doing our thing here in Australia, so it's a good energy to have. Absolutely. I thought you were going to sing for a moment there, mate. You're ready to go. Give me a minute. Um, put your hands together for a very impressive forward line and a big thank you to Matthew Pavlich.